Along with the return of a popular Marvel series, we're bringing you another film installment in a popular horror franchise and another TV installment in a popular horror franchise, plus the third outing for a certain French thief and master of disguise and an erotic thriller with Alden Ehrenreich. It's all coming up on this week's What to Watch. We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Tobias, wow, great to see you again. <laughs> that, that's what's been happening. Wow. Finding its way into our timeline once again is Loki Season 2. Look no further than the tomato meter score for a reason to check out Season 2, given that it's certified fresh at 84%, with the critics' consensus saying Loki's dizzying, dazzling second season may rely on sleight of hand to distract from its slightly less satisfying storyline, but the end result still contains enough of that old Marvel magic to entertain. The second reason to give the second season a chance is that thanks to the events at the end of Season 1, there's a whole new set of circumstances for Loki as he tries to piece things together and also remakes friends with Owen Wilson's Mobius, who no longer remembers what he and Loki have already been through. Plus, Loki is struggling with the condition known as time slipping. Sounds like something my manager has asked me about. The third reason to try out Season 2 is that at some point, this series should play a major role in setting things up for the future movies, given the heavy featuring of Jonathan Majors as, well, a few different characters like He Who Remains, Victor Timely, and dare we say, Kang. Baby, you've been gone three days. Overtaking theaters this week is The Exorcist Believer. The first reason to believe this one is that it marks the sixth installment in The Exorcist franchise. And even more importantly, it's a direct sequel to the original, 1973's certified fresh The Exorcist. And with that, and this is reason number two, the film features Ellen Burstyn reprising her role as Chris McNeil from that original, her first time returning to the franchise in 40 years. She's joined by stars like Leslie Odom Jr., Anne Dowd, and Jennifer Nettles. The third reason to get possessed, I mean obsessed, with this movie is that this is the first of three new Exorcist films coming our way in the next few years. Yes, please. The next one, called Deceiver, is coming in 2025. Is that Chucky in the White House? We're responsible for Chucky. We're going to DC. He knows where my sister is. We're gonna kill Chucky, guys. Getting all dolled up for its third season is the horror series, Chucky. The first reason to give this one a try is that it's of course based on the Child's Play film franchise, serving as a sequel to number 7, Cult of Chucky. And even better is that the series also features Brad Dourif, reprising his role as the voice of Chucky. The next reason to tune in is that the first two seasons were a hit, with an impressive audience score average of 87%, and both seasons fresh at over 90% on the tomato meter. The critics have called it a bloody good time, naturally, with both absurd humor and creative horror. Sounds like Chucky. Thirdly, in this newest season, it looks like our boy Chucky is now targeting the Oval Office and a very clueless first family that has no idea what they're dealing with. Et ce, afin de vous éviter les alertes d'une surprise, j'ai pris la décision de vous prévenir à l'avance que je m'apprête à dérober votre père le noir. Returning to Netflix for its third season is the French mystery thriller Lupin, or Lupin. The first reason to try this one out is that it brings a new take on some classic material, as it follows a man who is inspired by the stories of master thief Arsène Lupin, a character created by Maurice Leblanc in the early 1900s. Reason two is that it features Omar Sy in the leading role, an actor whose impressive work you would no doubt recognize from the takedown and a couple of Jurassic World movies, and the critics love him in Lupin. Speaking of critics, the third reason to tune into Lupin is that the first two seasons are very certified fresh on the tomato meter, with a consensus that this is an engrossing espionage thriller. And if early reviews are any indication, season three is headed that way too. We're getting married. We're getting married. I wish we could tell the whole world. We're going to have to tell them sooner than later. Morning. And finally, keeping us honest is the erotic thriller Fair Play. After debuting at Sundance back in January, this film is already certified fresh at 85% on the tomato meter, with critics comparing it to the best 90s nail-biting thrillers. That's the first reason to check this one out. The second is that it features Alden Ehrenreich, everyone's second favorite Han Solo, as he stars alongside Phoebe Dinever as a couple whose relationship is put to the test after an unexpected big promotion at a cultural hedge fund. How that sets up an erotic thriller? It's all part of the fun, I suppose. Another reason to give this one a try is that it marks the big screen directorial debut for Chloe DeMont, who also wrote it. 
She previously worked as a director and writer for the fresh HBO series Ballers. Love a good directorial debut. Okie dokie, fresh fam. Five picks that are almost as fun as playing with a psychotic killer doll. Be sure to let us and your fellow viewers know in the comments what you did check out, whether it was on this list or not. Remember to check out RottenTomatoes.com for the latest updates on scores and reviews for everything mentioned, as well as the movie and TV world at large. That's all for today, fresh family. Until next week, stay fresh.